everybody. I'm doing an early morning update here, uh, Tuesday morning, July, no, June, June 29th. And uh, first I'm going to start out in the garage. just wanted to show you this. If I can get it, I can't get it all in one shot, I don't think. I'm building a bed for my two-year-old. Been working on this for about a week. Got the second coat of stain on it right now. And I'm um, going to sand it down now. This is the last coat of stain I think I'm going to do. Going to sand that down with some 320 uh, sandpaper, and then it should be done, I would think. But uh, just a little toddler bed. We're going to take the crib um, mattress out and uh, just stick it in there, and uh, hopefully it turns out pretty well. I just found the plans on the internet; they were free. I'm not really a woodworker; don't really do too much with uh, with, with wood. But uh, anyway, there's that. I'm going to go out in the backyard here and uh, show you some tomatoes. Now this is the Voyage tomato right here, and to tell you the truth, it's doing really well, but there is not one flower on here, and there's not one flower on the one in the back. So I'm wondering if it, maybe it's a sun deal. I, I've planted plenty of tomatoes in these areas before, and they've done fine, but uh, we've never had the trampoline there before, so I'm wondering maybe if it's kind of cutting into the sun. Um, hillbilly tomatoes, this one's doing pretty well. It's got some flowers on it. And the Big Dave's tomato blend. Uh, they're doing great. I forget. I think this is like a the Banji and Rumi. Or the Goji Furunji. I, I, one of those. Um, anyway, no flowers on it either. But I think it's going to make it uh, here pretty soon. Plenty of flowers on the Big Dave's. So, um, I went to the community plot yesterday, no, Sunday, went to the community plot Sunday, and uh, did a little more weeding, which was stupid, because it, it's totally out of control, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm still going to try to take another video out there, or two, um, kind of come to the conclusion that I'm probably not going to do that next year, just because uh, it's so far away. You know, if it was three or four blocks away, I could get there every day and do do some things. It, I just can't with with the family and and work. I just can't spend as much time there as I need to to do the weeding. So, anyway, I uh, thought I'd bring you out here. I've got some tigger melons growing. There's one tigger melon, and there was a there's a little baby one, but I think it's turning yellow. So maybe not. Um, got some little cucumbers that are doing the same thing, but also on here, there's a bait alpha cucumber. There's another bait alpha cucumber. Doing well on cucumbers. I've already picked two. Watermelons. Um, let's see. Watermelons are doing okay. Maddie's, uh, Everbearing strawberries are finally deciding to bear some fruit. Um, there, this is a this is the orange glow watermelon here, orange glow watermelon here. Uh, Matt's wild cherry tomatoes. They're uh, they're finally starting to turn. Got some over here as well. Very tiny. Um, more of the Goliath hybrid tomato. Um, leaves are kind of dying off, so I think it's some, uh, there's some watering issues or some, some bugs, not sure. Uh, Moon and Stars Watermelon, and Moon and Stars Watermelon here, I believe, even though I don't see spots on the leaves, I thought that's what that was, but maybe not. Um, this zucchini is turning yellow, I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but the others are doing fine. Um, Harris's pumpkin is doing pretty well. Some of the leaves are turning yellow, but I think for the most part it's it's going to make it. And uh, Maddie's zucchini. Still waiting on that zucchini down there. There's another one. Can't wait for that. Um, and that's going to be pretty tasty. And then her water, her orange glow watermelon going off to the side. So uh, that's it. Um, that, that's it for today. Not, not a whole lot going on. 
um, just a little update on what we're about to pick and how things are growing and uh, just a little news flash that I'm probably not going to do the community plot next year. It seems like, um, well I've gotten a few tomatoes out of the community plot and nothing, nothing major. You see here's, here's one down there that's, that's starting to turn red. It seems like the more I plant the less I harvest. And uh, I, a few years ago I had the, you know, I had about five tomato plants and we had so many tomatoes that we had them in the freezer for a couple of years. We, we had that many tomatoes. Last year I had tons and tons of tomato plants and we really didn't have as many as we did that, that year we had uh, five plants. And this year, I'm kind of noticing that, you know, with 30 plants or so, not quite getting what I expected so far. I mean, it's early in the season, sure. But uh, just doesn't look like everything is producing quite as well as it used to. I don't know. Uh, it, maybe it's too early to make that judgment. I think maybe next year I'll just go back to the... I'm going to do six raised beds instead of four. Um, and then on, along the sides of the house. And then of course the peach tree. Which is still looking a little sick. But it's going to make it. Um, peaches on there are still ripening, the, the leaves are still okay. Alright, everybody, uh, have a good good rest of the week, and a good 4th of July if you happen to celebrate that, and also uh, to the Canadian friends out there, um, happy Canada Day coming up here uh, on Thursday. Take care, everyone. Bye.